All right, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, set up my drip irrigation for this area near the pond here. Uh, near the pond, I'm going to put some uh, flowering plants, little shrubs. So it needs more like a, instead of a bubbler, it's more like a misting uh, irrigation where the drippers, instead of putting a drip line, I can put like misting things and uh, little spray heads, things like that that'll uh, spray the water out that's good for those kind of plants like little shrubs and flowering plants in between i can put also some drippers um, just to provide more water if i need to but this is the main line this is three quarter inch line three by four sorry three by four inch it's a flexible pvc uh, or flexible tubing so flexible tubing and uh, uh, you can see that's how it looks it's a flexible tubing so what i'm going, doing here is this main one of the main flexible tubing coming from my fruit trees i put a t connection a three by four inch t connection like that i crimped it you see, with a crimp you see that's a, a crimp and once you crimp it it'll hold it and now on the other side of the tea i'm putting this one so this is going to my pond area so that's the reason i'm putting a tea here i'm going to show you how you how i do it so this is a crimp you put the crimp in first right and then this is the crimping tool, you see. This is a clamp, you clamp it down. So this is a, actually a clamp, right? This is clamp, three by four inch clamp. You clamp it right here at the, right there. You clamp it right there. And once you squeeze it down, it'll get tight on that neck. We'll show you how I do it. You see, now it's right there at the rim. That's how much you want it. You want it all the way into the neck, neckline right there. See the neckline? So that's where you want it. And then you put the crimp right there, right at the bottom of that. And then you crimp it down. See, just like that it's very tight it's not going anywhere you see it's it's very very tight all right now once you crimp everything down to put the sprinkler so i have sprinkler heads this is like a misting it's called a misting a misting thing to mist it you can put a misting head it's like a misting head it screws on here you can get the whole box like this you can buy it like that it has a lot of different things as you see so this is the misting head that goes right on the top like that all right so how i do it is uh, uh, one minute, let me show you.
All right, so this is a little hose. Sorry, I had to go and get my hose. This is a little hose that can tap off the main line, right? You can tap off at multiple points, just like that. So what I do is, so this is a thing that you make a hole with. You can buy like this. This is nothing but a hole puncher. You put a, like a puncher a hole just on the tube, right? You punch a hole. And once you punch the hole there, I'll show you. Like this guy, I make a hole on the side. You see like that. All right, you punch a hole. So now you have a hole here with this thing. Now in your, in the box, you could find things like this, right? That thing can go in here. It can go inside there. I'll be right back, I need to get a tool, I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I'm back. I got a little player to make my job easier. These things you can buy like in any shop, like a Lowe's or online. This is a three quarter inch. This made for a, sorry, three by four inch tubing where you can punch the hole. It's the right size. You see that's that size is what you want for this kind of stub. So it's like a stub that goes to your main line this is your main line three by four inch flexible main line and you're going to your goal is now after you punch the hole this part it has a barb right there that barb should go inside it and you make sure you go inside completely so it's watertight so I'm gonna take my player it's good to punch the hole on the side then on the top because before you put it on the top it'll just stick out you want to just go sideways because the plants are on the ground right not in the air so you have to go on the side of this which is better you see that's how you do it now the barb is inside it's not going anywhere you see the barb is stuck way inside it and that'll that will not leak any water because the barb you see you see there's a barb on both sides all right now what you do you take your flexible tubing the small one that is used for the bubblers misters and the drip line you put it here you see right there you see you put it there and you cut it how much distance you want. For me, this one goes to my plant. So I'm going to put a plant here, a few plants there. And it's going to be like that, yeah? It's going to be going that way. So, so that's your main line. This is the barb going to the main line. This is the 
uh, offshoot that coming the small line which is used for your bubblers misters and rip this is where you will be putting different attachments as per your requirement this is where you'll be putting different attachments all right so let's see now you have different attachments you can put for a misting system you can put something like this you can just connect it in the bottom stick it in the ground if you want more height if you want more height you can attach an extension like that and and on the bottom and put it like that right put it like this this is a misting head and this is the adjustment of the of the pressure on and off how much pressure you want you can adjust it here all right so that's a misting attachment now if you don't want this you can put other things like this one this is a bubbler you can put it in series you put it here it's a bubbler and you can attach more lines on the other end and you put more of this in series you can put a sprinkler if you want or oh, not sprinkler sorry you can put another one like that on on here you cut the hose and put another one there so you can go in series right continuous series there is one way of doing it so it's a lot of different attachments you can see now this is a sprinkler, a micro sprinkler. So if you want to put a micro sprinkler, you can just use a stick like this. So some of the places I'll be putting the micro sprinkler. like that and it just sprinkle you see it'll sprinkle around and that is that just the pressure goes in the ground put this guy here and it goes on the ground and it'll sprinkle sprinkle water just like that all right that is for the pressure on and off so those are the things you can do different ways of uh, of uh, attaching things and you can see this box comes with a lot of different things uh, this is another uh, sprinkler it's a micro sprinkler if you have moss or other small plants you can use this micro sprinkler this is another type of sprinkler or micro sprinkler as well so there's a lot of different things and uh, well if you have a hole that is like too big or you made a mistake you can plug it with this plug these are hole plugs to plug it in the main line uh, so that's how you do it it's pretty simple um, once you figure it out so this is done this is done so I have all this I'm going to do the same thing all over my main line to work so that's how you do it so these are the, this is a crimping tool and that clamping or crimping tool is important for to squeeze this down tight you have to squeeze it down tight so it does not leak right that's the main thing that's how you do it and the hole puncher to punch the hole okay that's the hole puncher keep punching holes to attach more of this to this and that's how you do it and that's about it it's pretty simple if you have big fruit trees I would say like three gallons per uh, per hour five gallons per hour this is like five gallons per hour it's called the flag uh, flag dripper 
this flag drippers are uh, a lot of a high volume output so for big trees like apple tree things like that you can use this high volume output all right it's called uh, it's called the flag dripper it looks like a flag you see you just connect it to this part and the water comes from there it comes in a high volume that's why it's good for like big trees all right that's about it hope it hope it helps it's a lot of fun to do these things okay <laughs>